Good morning, y'all, and happy Sabbath. Sabbath morning. I was drawn to a name over here in the book of Romans. It just happens to be the name of my granddaughter. For some reason, I seen that this morning and was drawn to it. So let's read it, because there's something else down here at the bottom that jumped right off the page at me that I don't think a lot of people realize this day and age, that there's supposed to be a lot of these. And there are, but they're not teaching truth. <laughs> But then there are the select few on that narrow path that are teaching truth, and that's what matters. So check this out. I'm over in Romans 16, and I'm just going to start reading at the top because my little granddaughter's name is right there, Phoebe. It says, I come in unto you, Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church, which is at Kenchery, Century, or however you say that. I'm not a very good reader. Um, verse 2. That you receive her in the Lord as become a saint. So as they become saints, they need to receive this sister. Um, where are we at? And that you assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you. For she hath been a securer of many and of myself also. Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks. So he's not only thanking uh, these two sisters, but he's also thanking all these churches you guys are going to flip out about. And I just know you are. <laughs> or at least some of you are. <laughs> it says... Unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. You mean you got this Jew, this Roman Jew, <laughs> thanking all the churches of the Gentiles? We don't have no Gentile churches out here teaching truth with sisters like this. Mm -mm -mm. Check this out, verse 5. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Ephantitus, Etus, who is the first fruits of H.I. unto Christ. Greet Mary, who bestowed much labor on us. So he's just going through the list of people that helped him. But the one thing that jumped out to me this morning was this right here. They laid down their own light, their own necks. And he gives thanks to them and all the churches of the Gentiles. So he didn't say the church of Israel, did he? No. He said the churches of the Gentiles in their houses. Well, check this out. This is why that meant so much to me, guys. We have a house church in Crossville, Illinois that we attend every Sabbath. And all the surrounding people in the community are coming to this little house church. Praise God. Please keep it in prayer. Please keep all these new converts in prayer, please. Please keep me and all of us that are doing this in prayer. Because we're just human beings, we're not perfect. We can slip and fall at any given time. And I pray we do not. So that just really, really, really gave me a lot of smiles on the inside when I seen that the Gentiles, they weren't called Israel. They were called the Gentiles. It was the Gentile churches. Because there had to be separation back then. Because the Israel nation was actually really, really wicked back then. And they didn't want nothing to do with Jesus. And the Lord says in his word that I give you the heathen for your reward. <laughs> and that's what we're reading about. These Gentiles are the heathen that was a gift to Jesus. That's right. The white man is a gift to Jesus. And the book also says that I guess flesh and blood Israel is going to be jealous over this once they realize who they were because they still are but there's just 
so many out there right now that are being led down the wrong path and it breaks my heart for these people. I love them. And I love my own, I love all people, let's just put it that way. It don't matter what your color, skin of your ears, it don't matter what your dialect, what your language, it don't matter. If you're a human being, I love you. And I just pray that you will come into the knowledge of the truth and start and continue rightfully trying to divide this word rightfully. And you have to divide it unbiasedly. You got to take yourself and your own ideas, your own understanding out of the equation. And you have to pray for our God and our King to open your understanding. And you just keep reading and reading and reading and reading. And I promise you, He's going to come and sup with you and He's going to give you great understanding. The beginning of knowledge is the fear of the Lord. That's right. He says, Don't fear man that can kill your body, but you fear a God that can kill your body and your spirit. So let's read that one more time. Who have for my life laid down their own necks. How many of you sisters have laid down your own necks for a brother because he's in the faith or he's doing the right thing and you know without the shadow of a doubt this brother had no ulterior motive but Jesus? How many of y'all be laying down your lives for a brother like that? As far as I know, this book says right now we are in light afflictions. So if you ain't having to lay your life down for nobody right now, I think the least you can do is maybe help the cause, don't you think? Help the cause a little bit. Whatever that cause might be to go out there and save some souls. That's right. We need to get together as the body of Christ, as the bride adorned for her husband, as a chaste virgin. And we need to get out here and get busy and stop just praying that the Lord will send labors into the harvest. Is that not a labor of praying that? A little food for thought, y'all. Get your Bible. Read. Read, 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 read. Look at it. What do he say? What do he say? He says, he says, for my life, they laid down their necks for my own life. Unto whom, not only, not only them two or three, not only them two, uh, but uh, I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. So even though they've accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, he still calls them Gentiles. Because of the separation back then, right? We didn't get confused with all this Christian stuff and you know all these other words and stuff that we got now because we got a whole new alphabet since then. <laughs> so anyway, enough said. He gave thanks to all the Gentile churches, man. These are new converts in the Gentile churches and people's houses, and they're not keeping the feasts. Oh no, they're not even circumcised. Yet you got this Roman um, Israelite thanking these people. No wonder he had to rehearse what he was going to say to folks whenever he went back to his own people, country. Because they would have stoned him to death and killed him dead. You can read about all this in the Bible. Get your Bible and read it, y'all. Hey, you guys have a good uh, Sabbath day. And um, help somebody out in the cause. If there's somebody out there trying to win souls, join yourself to them and get out there and help them. Because if they are truly trying to win souls, I promise you will not be unequally yoked. You guys have a good day. It's a Sabbath day. It's a beautiful day. Get your Bible and read. Peace in Jesus.